All right, what's up, guys? Going here back again. What a vip on the channel, and today we are back on the Dragon Ball Legends video. And today we are finally here for our monthly LF tier list for February of 2022. Obviously, with the release of LF gear and things have shooken up quite a bit, and even beforehand, just in general, the meta has changed a little bit. I would say slightly in the last month, uh, ever since Bardock came out and all stuff when we did our last one. So things will definitely uh, change all throughout the tier list for the most part and all stuff so there's that I'll keep in mind obviously at the time recording this we don't have the Zenkai for Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta yet so I'll rank him in the next tier so it's probably gonna be like for a month from now so you're probably not gonna see me rank him until like the end of March or something like that when I finally do my tier list for that uh but yeah keep that in mind so there's that but anyways hopefully you guys enjoy the video if you do make sure down below and also sub to the notification bell to never miss out and upload without further ado let's actually hop in to the tier list all right we are here now obviously you can quick quickly take a look at the list and also remember i do kind of do like an lf slash ultra tier list i don't need to but i just feel like it now obviously you will definitely see a bit of a change in the actual tier list so you see i removed c tier completely just because there was no point like i feel like the difference between b tier and c tier is not really that drastic like whoever's last in b tier is the worst lf in the game like they don't have to be specifically put in c tier all right we don't need to do that anymore and instead i guess for replacing that i guess in this place i put a brand new tier being z plus tier which is actually where ultra gogeta is gonna go so actually you know what let's just might as well just put him up here frame one might as well uh ultra gogeta the reason why i'm putting him here is because that way he's in his own tier because i feel like he kind of is somewhat in his own tier i feel like obviously him being the absolute best unit in the game and all this stuff and the fact that he's also an ultra and the rest of the list is an lf list so that way at least he's in his own tier and not really like in the rest of the tier list so that way we can just save the rest of the tier list for just ranking the lf specifically and all stuff so i don't know i just thought it would be a pretty good idea just to make his own like put him in his own tier i guess so that, so that way he doesn't get mixed in with all the lfs since this is mainly an lf tier list but there's that but ultra gogeta i don't I, what do i need to say about him he's ridiculously busted like that that's all i gotta say that, that's all i'm going to say about him so there's that if you want a full explanation on why he's the best unit in the game you can watch my previous ones but at this point i don't need to keep repeating the same things i i like say in the past ones when thing i don't know whatever i'm not gonna let's just move on all right he's the best here in the game that's final all right so obviously as of always we do have the uh lf tier list from last month so obviously as you can see gogeta was in z tier now he's in his own tier of course and then uh, in terms of the rest of the tier list obviously bardock was the new unit at that time i guess so there's that so uh this list normally whenever i take a look at these tier lists usually i always think about like oh like it's probably just gonna be you know i'm gonna add in the new unit rank them and then maybe one or two things might change throughout the list and then we'll be fine right but man this tier list was actually kind of somewhat tough to think about actually i'm still not i'm still not even like a hundred percent like sure about a lot of the placements i'm gonna be making i might make some adjustments as i go but it was this list was definitely tough to uh, make so there's that so cell uh, as always he's the first unit we always end up ranking uh cell again he's definitely not in the worst spot ever he's definitely not in the worst spot ever he's definitely pretty good and all stuff now he's obviously gotten some help due to zenkai buffs androids have gotten buffed up a decent bit now i, I still don't think androids are like a super top tier th team they still need quite a bit more to like be truly like super relevant and all stuff but there's definitely they're definitely a solid team for sure so now obviously besides androids powerful opponent did get buffed up i guess you could say uh with the release of full power gear and as well as you can i guess uh throw in revival freeze into the mix as well and all that uh but obviously cell is on powerful opponent so i guess his team's being buffed up does somewhat help him and i did actually use him a little bit before this tier list and all stuff just to kind of like familiarize myself with him and all stuff see how he's kind of holding up of course and uh i would say he definitely he's still good for sure obviously he's definitely not like super ultra mega crazy definitely not on the same level of his initial release but he's still good so you know what i'm gonna be kind to him maybe i might change this later we're gonna put him in s tier we're gonna put him in s tier i'm just gonna leave him there you know i think he's good he's definitely good but he's obviously not like the absolute craziest and he still needs more help like definitely a platinum equipment for him could definitely help him out just in general more buffs for his teams and all that stuff like regen and androids could definitely help out but for now i think he's in a, a pretty decent spot so there's that better at least than like a month or two ago so there's that uh vegeto blue again i i did use him recently i still have to do the video on him uh i do have one 
like plan I, I have a plan to do one for him but i did use him obviously uh in attempting to record a video for him he's definitely still solid he can definitely hold himself but again at this point he's definitely aged and you definitely need to have my higher stars in order for him to actually be able to put in work and all stuff so and and also the fact that he's been replaced on a lot of his teams and all stuff is it, it definitely doesn't really help him so we're gonna put him in a tier uh again still a good unit and all that but he's definitely aged at this point it's just natural progression you know power creep all stuff so there's that uh fsk we're gonna put in a tier he's he's still good for sure definitely he can still be a powerhouse in the right situation you definitely can't underestimate him for sure but again the fact that this dude exists and a lot of other powerful blues in this meta he's just not in the craziest spot right now and there's a lot of characters as well that just null they're not nullify but like they just get cancel attribute upgrades like they cancel buffs and also like ultra gogeta for instance he cancels buffs on his green card you know like there's other character i know there's other characters that can cancel buffs that are not coming to my head like they're not really coming to mind right now but like su oh, super vegeto super vegeto he cancels uh enemy buffs on his main ability and all that stuff so at that point Gohan isn't really in his best spot. He's going to be heavily neutered at that point. Just, just in general, he's still good, but he's definitely not as good. And it's just the meta is not really the greatest for him right now. So he's going to be an A tier and all stuff. And just in general, his main teams, I would say like hybrids, for instance, is probably his main team. I would just say like running Sora of Hope Trunks in his place, I would say, alongside like Revival Gohan and maybe uh, Future Gohan is probably just a better team anyways, especially in this current meta. So... He's definitely not in the crazy spot right now, but he's still a solid unit, so we're gonna keep him at the top of A tier now. We actually get to talk about the boy Jiren very early on, actually, so I'm actually pretty excited about that. Jiren, uh, in my initial showcase video, I did like him, like he felt good and all stuff, but definitely, obviously, at that point, he was only at three star. So, he, you know, there was a certain situation, especially before the enemy rising rush and all stuff, that he definitely didn't really look like the absolute craziest and all stuff but still he definitely felt pretty good but i had definitely used him quite a bit more now since you know he's initially released and all stuff and now i have him at six stars as well because i did multi z power him and all stuff he feels really 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 good like I really like his play style. Like, definitely, like, when the enemy rising rushes and all this stuff, him getting endurance on, you know, when enemy rising rushes and all this stuff is definitely nice. Obviously, it would have been nice if he just got endurance, you know, at all times and all this stuff, just had that active at all times. But I still think it's a nice, like, mechanic he has just because it makes the enemy scared of rising rushing gear because they know what's gonna happen and now obviously if you have a character like full power frieza who just straight up nullifies endurance or rose or anything like that you don't have to worry about that but still it's only those characters you're not fighting against those characters every match obviously so it is nice that jiren does have that ability you know he can just easily tank a rush for the most part and he gets extra buffs and once once the enemy throws a rising rush out he is mega powerful like he actually is just dumb good like he is very very good the fact that he gets so many buffs and enemy rising rushes and all that stuff like extra damage key recovery all that stuff but uh yeah jiren's definitely very good i would say the main issue for him right now is mainly just his teams the fact that you kind of have to throw his best team right now say is probably LOE. You just put him in the leader slot and then you probably run him alongside a uh, revival Frieza and now full power Frieza. That way you can run him alongside a revival unit that you know can help like tank rushes and all stuff for Jiren to be able to get his full buffs and all stuff. Especially if you're fighting as characters that nullify endurance like full power Frieza. Guess what? You can just bring revival Frieza in and he's gonna live it and Jiren gets his buffs anyway. So there's that. LOE I would say is his main setup right now. You can run him on other teams like rival, rival universes. Not in the best spot, but it's also not in the worst. Uh, it's definitely an okay team. Like, you have some good units there, like God Topo, who can definitely put in work, you know, or Gamo, who can actually be pretty solid. You, I guess you could also run a Universe Survival Saga with, alongside Beerus, or even, like, Evolution Blue Vegeta and stuff. I don't know. Powerful Opponent, I guess, is good, but the thing is about Powerful Opponent, I would say, as a tag, is... While a lot of the units individually are good, I just feel like the team like doesn't really work the greatest together. Like a lot of the characters you put on, a lot of the best characters on Powerful Opponent, they they don't really like work that well together. There's there's no real synergy between like across the team. While yes, all the characters individually are very good, so the team is still able to hold up and all stuff. There's just no real like 
team synergy like a lot of other teams have like loe you know you have full power frieza you know just dishing out a ton of damage you have lf uh, first one frieza just there with the support the disrupt and all stuff as well as you have revival frieza just for extra damage sustainability with this revival mechanic and all stuff and also he's supporting as well and just in general with all those three characters they're providing support in their own way so they have like good synergy with each other powerful opponent for the most part there's not a lot of characters that really properly synergize with each other so powerful opponent while yes it's a solid team it's definitely not the craziest team ever for sure so i don't know but jiren uh he's definitely very very good so we're going to place him in z tier yes i do think he's e tier i was actually kind of somewhat debating put him in z tier again mainly because of his teams but i just feel like He's just so good. Like, not only does you know he have you know the uh, the mechanic of having like endurance and all stuff and getting a ton of buffs and enemy rising rushes, but also like you have to remember a lot of the other things like his green card, that AOE green card is just very annoying, as well as the fact that it has a chance to faint the enemy. And if he does faint the enemy, his blue card and his ultimate hit mega hard. And by the way, his ultimate I love his ultimate. The fact that his ultimate is a supreme impact like damaging attack, so it's gonna hit pretty hard. And the fact that it's an aoe attack as well just does so much to i've actually won matches because of that ultimate the fact that i land that ultimate on a certain character just demolish them and i just see their standby characters take so much damage like it's actually ridiculous so his ultimate is fantastic the fact that he also has blast arm and strike cards is very good blue card obviously can do quite a bit of damage now granted his blue card is a long animation so if you you it's definitely not an attack you i would say you want to throw out just randomly and all this stuff and you can hope to dodge it you're not gonna be able to dodge it same thing with his green card if you happen to miss the green card you're kind of screwed just because it's a long animation kind of like ui goku so bothering that like those are really like nitpicks at that point he's definitely very 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 good so i think he's worthy of being z tier so there's that now full power frieza Full Power Freeze is definitely an interesting character because he's gotten buffed up quite a bit. Obviously, LOE, since the last time we did the tier list, LOE's gotten buffed up significantly since then. So, obviously, it's in a much better spot, which means he's in a better spot. As well as they decided to release his Platinum equipment, you know, instead of someone like Vegito Blue or uh, Rose or Gogeta Blue or something like that. You know, another character that actually really badly needed it, but... It's not to give it to him. I, I get why, obviously, because they were trying to buff up LOE, but I don't think he really... He was already pretty good without it, and now he's just even better, because now he just does a lot more damage, as well as also, I, I notice, especially with his new Platinum equipment, the fact that also they released that Frieza Saga-specific Plat equip, he, he can actually tank now. Like I feel, Especially, obviously, the fact that I have my high stars, I have my 12 stars. He feels pretty like durable now. Like beforehand, he felt like decently durable. He wasn't like the, really like the best tank ever. Now I feel like he he can actually like tank a, like quite a bit now, which is very nice, obviously. So that's very good for him. And the fact that Ozzy again, he just keeps getting increased value just because we keep getting a ton of endurance units like Jiren and all that stuff. So obviously, you know, him having anti endurance is going to be very helpful in the current meta and stuff, even against characters like Future Gohan, even Bardock when an ally dies and all this stuff. Ape Vegeta, which you don't really fight against, but you know what I mean, alright? Obviously, there's a lot of other endurance characters as well, so him just being able to straight up not care about endurance is just very good. That AoE blue card just dishes out so much damage. It's ridiculous. It's always so satisfying to land that blue card. It's ridiculous. As well as also, you know, him having blast armor and strike cards, him having that green card that can just guarantee the combo extent as well as lower sub counts. Very good. Van him having vanish restoration on his main ability is very good as well. Him giving a little bit of support and healing when he gets below 60% HP. It's very nice as well. Just overall, I feel like he's a very well-rounded character. And the fact that Eloise has been getting buffed to hell and all stuff, and they gave him his platinum equipment, he's definitely quite a bit better. So I do think he actually is worthy of being in Z tier, actually above Jiren. I do think he's better than Jiren. Just it seems like almost every update they do now, every time they release a new character, he gets increased value at this point. Like it's actually like ridiculous. But he's definitely very good. Like they've just Eloise has been gotten buffed to hell. And the more I've used this dude, the more impressed I am by him. So there's that. Uh, full power freeze is definitely very, very, very good. So there's that now Bardock. This is the part where I'm kind of somewhat struggling because Bardock is good. I actually did use him a bit more. Even, again, keep in mind my Bardock is only two star, all right? 
he puts in work. Now that I am more comfortable and I'm more familiarized with his play style, and the fact that I've also I fought against a decent amount of Bardocks, man, he is annoying to fight against. <laughs> he is so annoying to fight against. That lock in of his, and the fact that he can get level two card draw speed and all that stuff when you hit him is so annoying. <laughs> it's actually ridiculously annoying. The fact that obviously his green card can just constantly heal him. Like he has, especially at higher stars. He has pretty decent sustainability and all stuff, and obviously as the battle goes on, his damage is going to be ramping up and all stuff. So Bardock is definitely is a character I've grown to like more as time as time has gone on. So I I'm thinking of either putting him in you know in, at the top of S tier where he was in the last tier list, but I'm also very tempted to actually put him in SS tier. I'm. I'm gonna leave him here for now. I'm gonna leave him at the top of S. He's definitely very good for sure, and I've come to respect him a lot more. But while I am very tempted to put him in SS tier, I'm just I don't I don't know. I can change things as we go on. For now, I'll leave him at you know at the top of S tier like he was last time. Definitely very good unit though for sure. So there's that. Now Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Uh, obviously now that uh, Goku and Vegeta finally got it out of the uh, boost system as well, sort of up chunks as well. Um, they're definitely still very good, but I think now at this point that Goku and Vegeta are out of the boost system finally, I think finally Gogeta now has the edge over Goku and Vegeta, especially because Goku and Vegeta, while they're very good, uh, you know, on mono purple and all this stuff, outside of mono purple, I definitely feel like you can definitely notice the power difference of them not being like boosted anymore you can definitely feel the difference now they're definitely not as crazy they're still good they're still very good but they're definitely not as crazy as they were when they were boosted of course and i feel like at that point i feel like gogeta actually just does overall feel better and the fact that he just keeps getting increased value because now you know obviously with the amount of uh, revival characters especially revival freeze will be the most common one right now that you fight against you know, he has that amazing anti-revive mechanic and all this stuff. Him also being a very good counter against LOE just in general. The fact that he's immune to like paralysis, you know, all that, all those abnormal conditions, all that stuff, which obviously LOE has a ton of units with green cards like that, that they like paralyze you and all that stuff and they lock you in place. He can just straight up just nullify that. He's immune to that and all that stuff. The fact that he can go type neutral and all that. So even against model purple, he can be a pretty solid counter against them and all that. Green card again, he's another character character that removes buffs on his green card and he's nullifies special cover changes and gets extra damage and all that the fact that he's at the start of battle he ha he's already at his max damage like he doesn't have to build up or anything he's just already max power and all stuff as well as also uh he has that 80 percent damage reduction which he can definitely be pretty tanky at that point and also like overall gogeta is ever since he got his platinum equipment he is just a completely different beast he is just so well-rounded it's actually ridiculous like he is so good so i think now especially the fact that goku and vegeta are not at they're still good like i said especially a model purple you did to keep that in mind they're definitely very good but i definitely think they're a bit neutered now they're definitely not as crazy and the fact that gogeta just in general has increased value in this man especially again the fact that this dude exists he has type advantage over ultra gogeta he's easily probably the best counter there is at the current moment to this dude like i think gogeta has just way too much value right now that i can't i cannot just say that he isn't the best unit in the game or like the best lf in the game sorry this dude is the best unit in the game but this dude is a second is a close second for sure he is ridiculous the more i've used him just the more i absolutely just love him like he is so good like his platinum equipment definitely changed him for sure like he is a completely different character right now it's, it's ridiculous so i think i do think at this point in time super saiyan 4 gogeta is the best lf unit in the game currently you know what since i talked about goku and vegeta let's kind of go a little bit out of order let's do something a bit different here we're gonna put him at number two here obviously goku and vegeta again while they're definitely still very good especially on mono purple they're still ridiculously busted and all this stuff but again, the team is completely built around them, basically. But still, they're very good on there. But off of Mono Purple, again, they're still good, but they're definitely... You feel their level and power, like, 
you definitely feel that they're not as strong anymore without the like them being boosted also if you def it's way more noticeable just in general you feel the effect of them not being boosted way more off of mono purple which definitely kind of hurts them but again like i said they're still very good for sure the main reason i would say they're probably even still this high is because of the fact that again mono purple exists and you can run them on that setup and on that setup they're crazy good if mono purple didn't exist and you couldn't run them on there i would actually probably drop them maybe it's like here maybe even like here but if, again you have to factor in mono purple of course you know them being ultra mega level busted on that team you know obviously you do have to factor that in so therefore i do think they're they are still the best the second best lf unit in the game obviously they're still ridiculously good but definitely they're not as crazy anymore it's the fact that they're no longer being boosted and all stuff so there's that so all right next unit future gohan let's actually go back in order and also future gohan again he he's e tier he's just an amazing well-rounded character obviously can do pretty solid damage you know once he's built up and all stuff he can provide support for his just general support for any team in the game he's an amazing leader unit has pretty decent sustainability obviously with his endurance and all that the disrupt he can provide with just you know destroying cards and cover change you're just in general just stopping combos if you switch against the blast card and all stuff the fact that he also can like has multiple ways of just sealing the enemy card just in general his disrupt just everything he does is just so good like he's just an absolutely like absolute well-rounded like character is just he's amazing like just that's all i gotta say again just like i said with ultra gogeta a lot of these characters especially if they have if their placement hasn't really changed i feel like i don't really need to say i don't really need to like focus on that character like talking about them too much just because we've like at this point we've established already why they're that good i don't need to constantly keep explaining it over and over and over and over again so it gets quite repetitive and all that at this point so i'm just gonna leave it there he's just in general a very well-rounded just very good character just there's that that's all i gotta say future on's very good majin vegeta my boy i actually realized i haven't done my uh monthly lf majin vegeta video for this month uh, i might probably do that after this actually uh it's majin vegeta again definitely very good but uh at this point obviously he's definitely not like bad or anything he's definitely still good but he's definitely not the craziest ever for sure at this point he's definitely aged so we're gonna put him in a tier uh at the bottom of a tier for now and all stuff at this point again like i said last time he could use a zenkai he doesn't really badly need it as some other characters and all this stuff but he could definitely use it and if he got one he would be a beast that's all i gotta say so there's that now lf piccolo uh lf piccolo i'm gonna put in s tier above cell uh just because i do think he's better especially in this meta he's very good aussie against a lot of the strong purple units and all this stuff again piccolo is a hard unit for me to rank personally just because i don't i haven't really used him like i did actually use him a little bit before doing this video but it wasn't really enough for me to get like a proper evaluation so i was just mainly going off of like you know my past experiences with them as well as also i have seen a couple of like showcases and all stuff uh mainly from ryudan actually lately uh so he's definitely still very good for sure but definitely not as crazy i, I don't know he's, he's still very good it's just the fact that regen is is definitely on the craziest spot right now for sure as well saiyan saga i guess is his only other team is definitely not good uh, right now but there's that but he's definitely still a good character obviously you could definitely make use of him you know putting him in the leader slot and other teams and all stuff he's definitely still good so there's that so i don't really know what else to say about him but he, he's still good he's still good anyways kid boo uh kid boo i actually realized i kind of had i'll say low i feel like i actually kind of somewhat disrespected kid boo in the last tier list uh kid boo especially especially why did i put him below i don't know i don't know kid boo is definitely good again at this point you know he's actually a year old at this point wow he is he's a year old damn okay time flies uh, anyways he's definitely still good for sure obviously you can definitely put in work and all stuff again he's definitely one of those characters that i personally don't use like i don't remember the last time i actually used kid boo so therefore it's kind of difficult for me to rank him but i i know he's good obviously i have seen again i've seen gameplay of him and all stuff you know recently and all that as well as i'm going off of my past experiences with him so kid boo is definitely very very good it's just the main issue is do i put him 
I feel like he deserves to be an S tier, I feel like. But the question is, is he better than Cell? You know, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put him above Cell. I'm gonna put him above Cell just because of the fact that Cell, the main thing with Cell is obviously you want his gauge. You want to use his unique gauge, you want to fill it up and all stuff for him to be really crazy at that point. But it can take a while. Well, Kid Boo, he doesn't really require that. Like he at just at the start of the battle, he's already like pretty good and he can just immediately start out with his shenanigans and just like having like infinite vanish recovery almost not really but you know what i mean just insane vanish recovery you know as he as he stays in the battlefield he does get stronger and all stuff but i feel like it's pretty easy to do with him if you know how to use him and if you get lucky with green cards and all stuff so yeah i'm gonna put him i'm gonna put him above cell i just think he's better and especially we do have quite a lot of powerful yellow units running around the meta like full power frieza future gohan bardock you know lf super saiyan 4 goku well you don't really see that much but he's good all right anyways you know other yellow characters as well that i probably don't remember but you know what I mean? there's a lot of powerful units in this in this meta uh, evolution blue vegeta as well obviously uh so that does kind of hurt cell well there's definitely powerful greens i feel like there's more powerful yellows and especially since greens aren't really in the absolute craziest spot just because there's so many dominant purple units as well so therefore i think kid boo probably has a slight advantage at least for now obviously over cell so there's that i don't know we're gonna put him above cell kid boo's definitely still good obviously definitely you you may need to make sure you know how to use them correctly and all stuff and you definitely need to protect them because if he gets hit he's not really gonna tank that's pretty much how he's always been designed but he can definitely still put it work and all stuff so i think he's and again he's powerful opponent which jiren came out who's powerful opponent so his team technically did get buffed so it does kind of affect him his placement as well so there's that especially since they're both blast base actually i could probably try that actually uh, i don't know uh revival gohan is next revival gohan i actually was thinking about dropping him actually from ss tier to s tier but i still think he is very good and all stuff even though we do have the new uh beerus the hakai beerus who does nullify revival it's definitely not like something you're probably really gonna like it's not i don't think it's something that's gonna happen super calm ah. I don't know, Revival Gohan just in general still has good value because of his Revival mechanic and he himself as well, especially once he revives, is definitely just really crazy still and all stuff. Definitely in his pre-revived state, he definitely isn't the absolute craziest anymore, you know, especially when he initially, remember when he initially came out, his, his pre-revived state was already just like absolutely busted beyond belief and then when he revived, he was just broken but now i think at this point he's definitely you know at this point he's definitely not as crazy obviously now obviously again once he revives he definitely still can put in a ton of work and all that but i don't i don't know well i'll leave him an ss here i feel like he's he's still is he's still good obviously he has value because of his, his revival mechanic and all stuff so as well as also uh, the general support he can provide with his main ability and all stuff is definitely quite nice and all that so there's that anyways moving on to the boy the goat gogeta blue uh again i'm probably gonna put him in the same place again i, I don't know why i mentioned this earlier I, I didn't mention this earlier again remember these are my personal takes all right this is not factual these are just going off of my experiences with the characters and all stuff my own takes and all so you know not everyone has to agree of course with my own takes and all stuff so there's that anyways Gogeta Blue, uh, I think, yeah, I'm gonna put this, especially now that God Key did get buffed, as well as uh, Fusion Warrior is an amazing team right now. Granted, Fusion Warrior, for running the best version of Fusion Warrior, putting Majub on there, but I wouldn't blame you if you still use Gogeta Blue over Majub, including me, just because of the fact that uh, Majub just he's not fun to use <laughs> he's not fun to use and it's just i don't know gogeta blue obviously is just way more fun to use than Maju. I and mean, he's still good i actually used gogeta blue recently in the uh hakai beer showcase he definitely put in work in that video he actually kind of looked pretty good in that video obviously, you know he, what the video wasn't centered around him but he did look pretty good and all stuff and it's the fact that also uh he did get access finally to a platinum equipment not his own unique platinum equipment but he did get access to a uh yellow movie saga specific platinum equipment, which is definitely very good for him so that does kind of help him out even though that was about a month ago like damn that was a month ago. anyways he's definitely he's still very good he still has value obviously because of the fact that you know there's a lot of good purple units running around this meta the special cover change notifications all the green card counter if you're able to land it 
he can still just decimate units and you can it basically wins you the game at that point almost if you actually land that counter still dish out a ton of damage especially once he's built up and all stuff has decent sustainability you know if you you know with the healing and all stuff from his main ability as well as whenever he switches in and all that so he's definitely still can put in work again he's definitely aged at this point but he's still i would say he's aged incredibly well so we're gonna put him in s tier again it could also be my bias towards gogeta blue but then again this is my opinion of tier list so there's that anyways same thing with series a for goku uh <laughs> I'm gonna put him above LF Piccolo. <laughs> I'm gonna put him. Above, I'm gonna put. Him. I actually, I, I actually think LF Super Saiyan 4 Goku is actually kind of a little underrated. I feel like I definitely don't think he's the absolute craziest. Of course, it's not like he got the same level of an upgrade as Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta did with his platinum equipment, but he definitely did get a sizable upgrade. He's definitely very good. And again, you can go back and watch my videos that I've done on him ever since he got his platinum equipment. Keep in mind that my Goku is three stars and look at the amount of work he puts in, in those videos. And even just off camera, I actually did use him a little bit uh, recently before this video just to, you know, just to use him might as well. He still puts in work. Like, uh, again, obviously he's definitely not the absolute like craziest. Definitely still, especially at lower stars for me, he definitely still can, can't really take a hit well, obviously. But the damage, he just, he can do really good damage. I actually wish I did farm a second copy of his platinum equipment so I could run him on Sun Family. Because right now, the main, the main reason I'll say I don't really use him that much actually is because of the fact that I only farmed the one copy of his platinum equipment. And the, the second slot, obviously, remember the second slot, you get pure uh, up to 8% to pure offenses per uh for each gt battle member or sun family battle member i ended up getting it for gt so i would need to form a separate copy of the equip for sun family but i didn't so i can really only run them on gt right now which is definitely a solid team of course but it would be nice to actually run them on different teams so it is what it is but i definitely think he's actually good again he has value because there's a lot of good purple units in this meta and all stuff so and reds aren't really the most dominant and all that so i, I, I definitely think he He's good. He's he, I like him quite a bit now. I, I do wish I had more stars on him. Same thing with Bardock. Bar, him and Bardock are two characters, probably the two main characters right now. I do wish I had higher stars. So there's that. But uh, Go, Goku's definitely good, obviously. So there's that. I, I'm not going to explain much more. All right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Goten. Yeah, Vegeta. I don't need to talk much about these characters. Like, Goten is good, but he's not really like crazy. Vegeta is getting his Zenkai and like a little less than a week from now but obviously at this point he doesn't have it yet so at this current point in time he's the worst lf unit right now anyways yeah a vegeta would it be the ultimate disrespect if i put a vegeta at the bottom of a tier nah nah i'm not gonna do it i ain't gonna do that nah 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 and i know i know i know best all right a vegeta is definitely he's not the craziest right now he's definitely not the craziest but he, he's solid. He's tough. He, he can put in work in some instances and all stuff. It is nice that he does have, you know, the endurance, you know, sub count manipulation with this blue card, the AoE green card that he can force draw a blue card, nullify special cover changes. He's healing constantly as well when he switches out. And, or is when he switches out or switches in? I don't know. You know, once he's stacked up a decent bit, he definitely can put in, like, work in terms of damage, obviously, but it's just. Again, he's not in the craziest spot. This meta is not really the best for him, you know. Reds, just in general, a lot of like red units in general are definitely not in the craziest spot. So, yeah, it's just is he better than FSK? I where did I put him last time? I... I'm gonna leave him. I'm gonna leave him there for now. I'm gonna leave him there for now. All right. I I don't, I don't really know. I obviously I have I did use Ape Vegeta recently. But it, it has been a little bit now, and I haven't really used him that much. But whatever. Let's, let's just leave him there. All right. Let's just leave him there. I'm going to move on from him. All right. He's just, he's not in the craziest spot right now. He's definitely not the craziest right now. There's, there's that. UI Goku. Do I put him above Goten? I. Nah, 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 I'm not doing that. Move, damn. <laughs> Just, we're gonna keep, uh, be, you know what, Beerus, you're going here. I don't care. Beerus, uh, B tier staying the same. I don't need to explain anything about B tier. These characters, like UI Goku's just aged. He's just aged. 
Bieros has aged. This dude's aged. He's getting his Ankai in like a week from now, I know. But he's aged. This dude is just... You're never running him over this dude. And at this point, he's definitely aged a bit. Whatever. B tier stay the same. I don't need to explain anything. All right. There's that. Uh, Corrupt. Why? Did, what? Okay. Anyways. Corrupt has merged Zamazu. Uh... Okay, Corrupted Merge Amazu. I definitely think he's probably the best red as of right now, currently. I actually did. I have fought against him a decent bit recently, actually, surprisingly. He definitely still can put in work, for sure. He can definitely still put in work, but... <sighs> Again, powerful opponent, I guess, did get buffed, of course. Future's definitely still a solid team, but I would definitely say on Future, I wouldn't say you're running him on your main team, for the most part. I would just say it's better just to run Future Gohan, sort of up Trunks, and, like, Goku and Vegeta is your third, or uh, Goku Black and Zamazu is your third, or something like that. So... Yeah, but, I mean... I... I... I'm gonna put him here. I'm gonna put him here. He has, he has use with his Endurance Nullification as well. Just because of the fact that one, I think it's once you pop his main ability, he nullifies endurance at that point. So he does have value, I guess, at that point, you know, against characters like Jir and Future Go on, you know, uh, Bardock, I guess, once he goes type, like, once he, like, has an ally or whatever. He has value still. He's definitely still can put in work. For the fact that he's a red unit in his current meta, I feel like he can definitely still hold his own relatively well, but. Because of that as well, he's definitely not the absolute craziest in this meta. But I, I still think he deserves a spot in S tier. I don't know. That's just me personally. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. We're going to... Hmm. We're going we're gonna to put it here. Yeah, we're going to put it here. Actually. I'm oh, sorry, Ray Uh No, no, no. Oh, I See, I did think over the tier list, but I'm still not even 100% sure on a lot of the placements. This is also one of those placements. Is he worse than Ape Vegeta right now? Him and Ape Vegeta are somewhat similar, just because they're both not in the best spot right now, because a lot of dominant purple units, a lot of dominant uh, blue units, yeah. They both take a while to build up. I'm gonna leave it like this, I'm gonna leave it like this, I'm gonna leave it like this. I think Ape Vegeta's better, because he has... The utility? I mean, he had Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. I, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do it. I, I'm gonna do it. This is. While greens are also not in the craziest spot, I would definitely say they're better than reds. Because at least there's also a lot of good blue units. Green units are a counter against blue units, of course. Goku and Vegeta exist. When Vegeta swapped in, he can be a solid counter. It's just. Again, he does take a while to build up, for sure, but he, he can definitely still put in work. The special cover change, or uh, the cover rescue is definitely nice to have, even though there's definitely a lot of characters now at this point that can nullify special cover changes and all that, you know, but um, he, he can be decently tanky still, somewhat. Uh, you know what? I don't care. I'm leaving him there. I'm leaving him at the bottom of A tier. I'm leaving him at the bottom of A tier. I don't care. All right, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna linger on that. Anyways, <laughs> Evolution Blue. He's top of S right now. Actually, you know what? You're gonna be top of S as well. L let's talk about them two together. <laughs> oh, anyways, <laughs> Evolution Blue. Obviously, again, he's definitely has increased value. I guess because a lot of purple units obviously running around him he's had good value because of that anyways uh definitely can still put in a lot of work i have used them recently especially in my most recent video of actually running hakai beers together in lfg and he also was on that team as well and he definitely helped carry me in a lot of situations and all that stuff he he's definitely a unit that if you're able to like ramp him up and all stuff he can put in a ton of work like he can really just absolutely dominate but it's very situational. It's definitely very situational. He's definitely not the tankiest ever at all, but you know, you know, I don't know. He's definitely still very good for sure, though. Obviously, God Key is still not in the craziest spot. It definitely got buffed up, but it still needs a bit more help, I would say. Vegeta Clan, I guess, is about to get buffed by this dude, but at that point, this team will be a bit more strike based and he's blast based. It's like, I don't know. He's definitely very good now for sure, but I, I just think he has a couple things to hold him back and again he's kind of situational and stuff so i don't know 
Uh, LF first one, Frieza, I definitely think is at the top of S tier. The, like, he is basically the backbone, I guess, of LOE. Like the, the, the amount of support that he just provides for LOE, you know, just in general, like the damage support, you know, just all the, the support he's giving for the team, the blue cards, you know, him having uh, the cover change that he can come off the green, his green card as well being very good, that, that he can lower sub counts and all, uh, he can reduce sub count as well as also, uh, you know, immobilize the enemy and all that. He has card draw speed so he can keep combos going for a decent ban, help buy time and all that. He can nullify special cover changes, his main ability as well, which is good. He can do pretty solid damage especially with his ultimate can definitely hit pretty hard he can be pretty sustainable actually especially if you build him correctly with uh your equipment setup and all stuff to be more like defensive i guess he definitely can be pretty tanky actually i have i have seen freeze a tank pretty well actually in a lot of situations again obviously there's certain situations he does take a lot of damage but he tanks pretty well he definitely can be pretty tanky and all stuff if you build him correctly so i i don't think he's quite like good enough to the point that he's ss tier but he's definitely like very good and the fact that loe has been buffed to hell recently i think that also does heavily affect his placement and all stuff and i think he probably is core on LOE. I know there's the other version of LOE that you run like yellow, yellow, blue with like uh, LF full power Frieza, Zenkai full power Frieza, and Revival Frieza. And then like it's kind of more like a defensive setup of LOE. But personally, I just like running this dude alongside uh, LF full power Frieza and Revival Frieza. Just because I, I like like just going with a more offensive, like hyper offensive setup, I, I, would, I would say. As well as also, I mean, even that team can be pretty sustainable, I've found actually. Again, this dude I found can actually be pretty durable now at this point with this new equipment and all stuff. This dude can be pretty decently durable and obviously you have Revival Frieza who could, has the revival mechanic and all stuff. So you can help tank certain like hits like Rising Rush and all that stuff. Just in general, just I think this guy is just too valuable for LOE that it just he just shoots up the tier list i guess i don't know he, he's top of s tier so there's that i'm still by the way thinking about bardock like if i want to move him up or something but whatever let's leave him there for now um broly so broly uh i think yeah yeah you know well well while at least super saiyan 3 goku is not the bottom of a tier yeah yeah no 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 don't don't overthink it elusive don't overthink it he is bottom of a yeah because Broly, while he still can be pretty good for sure, again, the best team he can, you can run him on is on Super. Like, if you're not running with Bardock, he definitely, he can still perform for sure outside of Super Saiyans. But he's definitely, I feel like he's quite heavily dependent on like Zenkai buffs. Because when I, I did my video on him somewhat recently, it was about a month ago at this point, a little over a month ago at this point. Uh, where I did triple Zenkai buff him and I, I didn't run Bardock. I ran Bardock was on the team, Zenkai buffing, but I didn't pair them alongside each other to give the crit buffs. I just want to see what Broly could do, you know, on his own without the, su the support from Bardock and all that, just getting Zenkai buffed. He definitely put in work, he definitely put in work, but I think he's quite dependent on that setup. On like you know him being Zenkai buffed quite a bit, just like Gogeta. I would say Gogeta Blue maybe is a little dependent on being like Zenkai buffed and all that, uh, but definitely not as much as Broly. And Broly definitely wants to preferably be on Super Saiyans in order for him to be really crazy. And again, just like Evolution Blue Vegeta, he is definitely very like situational because if your opponent's like constantly swapping and all stuff and you're getting a good situation for broly where you're comboing for a long time you're the opponent swapping a ton he's getting card draw speed vanish back all that stuff constantly healing as well you're getting green cards for extra card draw speed like you know he definitely can still put in work but again he's very it's very situational you're not you're probably not going to be getting that all the time so there's that and again he definitely needs higher stars in order for him to really shine as well so there i mean that you, same thing with goji same thing with a lot every unit obviously but especially like these two i would say uh but yeah broly still solid for sure but he's definitely aged at this point and definitely not the craziest very situational just yeah he's just bottom of a tier i guess i don't know he's, he's he's okay at this point uh super regito i think is z tier not above frieza though he's here obviously super regito the fact again same thing with goku and vegeta you have to factor in the mono purple does exist obviously and on that setup he's an absolute beast on that team and even outside of mono purple he can put in quite a bit of work still and all that even on, especially you have to consider the fact that fusion warriors is like 
a top three team in the game right now I'll say if not top five they're, they're one of the best teams in the game for sure easily at this point uh and obviously it's their main purple unit he works very well in that team and all stuff overall very very good unit can dish out quite a bit a good amount of damage especially once he's built up and all stuff as well as also tanking wise depends on the setup i guess he can be pretty decently durable and all stuff the fact that you know he can uh, remove buffs on the end on his main ability gets level two car draw speed he his ultimate hits like a truck and all stuff nullifies endurance and all that as a cover change against uh strike cards blue card definitely i've seen people mistakenly think as a short animation just they just throw it out and just hope for the best but it's a long animation so this it's not gonna work out the grace but super vegito i just think he's just too good like he's it's very good again like i said you have to keep in mind that mono purple does exist and he's literally core on mono purple and he's 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 part of the reason why Goku and Vegeta are able to perform as well as they are. So keep that in mind. Keep definitely keep that in mind. So he's definitely very very good for sure. I I easily think he's E tier without a doubt. So there's that. Now sort of trunks. He was Z tier last time at the bottom, but I think while he's still very good, and I you could definitely talk me into leaving him in Z tier, but I think he has dropped a little bit. Again, he's still incredibly good, still very good. But again, same thing with him no longer being boosted. It's definitely affected him a little bit more. And I just think, for instance, a character like Jiren is just very good. And again, I don't want to have too many characters in. It's weird to have too many characters in Z tier when Z tier is such like like I feel like it should just be reserved for like the absolute best of the best so trunks is definitely very good but i don't know if he's on that tier i don't know i don't know it's also weird that there's more characters in z tier than ss tier whatever uh trunks trunks is still definitely very good even without being boosted i i was, I was thinking the main thing that would really be noticeable about him that you know no longer being boosted is mainly his defensive capabilities but i would definitely say he's still can, i would definitely say he still can tank decently well it's not the craziest tank ever but he definitely can be decently uh, sustainable still at this point and all stuff obviously especially once he's got in his gauge he can still do incredible damage obviously at that point so i still think trunks is still crazy good but i just think he just isn't on the same caliber as like a lot of these characters and i just think full power frieza for instance has just too much value in this meta and all stuff right now jiren is very good again maybe you could somewhat talk me into doing this but i i'm gonna leave him here for now i again he's still very good for sure but i just think he doesn't really like i don't know i, I just he's an ss tier all right there's that i'm not gonna explain more rose um i'm actually gonna put him here you know what i'm gonna make a change i'm gonna make a change i'll put that there I think I'm gonna move him above FSK because at least Rose has more value in this meta than FSK. Well, I think FSK is head and shoulders better than, than Rose in this current meta. I just think Rose is way more valuable. While Rose himself, especially on a more normalized setup off of Mono Purple, he's definitely like he can be good, but he's definitely not like the absolute craziest unit of all time for sure. And definitely is somewhat lacking and all that but he's still good and again he has value with his endurance nullification the extreme bleed definitely very nice uh also the fact that he can potentially destroy dragon balls on his strike cards and all that the blue card doing uh aoe damage and he can go type neutral and all that it's definitely very nice so he has good things in his kit it's just there's definitely some areas that he does lack mainly i'll say damage i'll say there's actual raw damage output because an LF unit at this point is only getting 90% max damage just from his unique abilities and all stuff. And then later on in the fight, he only gets 70%. Like that's not that much. And with the stats, the stats are definitely not like, they're not bad, but they're not like the greatest ever. Like they're, they're okay. So it's like, same thing with Ape Vegeta. Ape Vegeta as well is something that kind of hurts him as well as the stats. Like he can get quite high damage inflicted and like damage drug and like sustained damage cut and all stuff. But I just, I don't think he has the stats necessarily to back it up, I would say. I, I, I don't know, I don't know. Rose, I think he, yeah, he, he I'm gonna leave him. I, I'm gonna do that. I dropped Zamazu down just, again, like I said, he's still very good, but again, he's not in the craziest spot right now. and and all that so, i don't know i don't know i do no 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 
no, we're gonna leave it like that. We're gonna leave it like that. Uh, Namagoku, I think I'm actually gonna put at the top of A tier. I, I, again, last time I had him at the bottom of S. Namagoku, while at this point, he's definitely aged again at this point, which is kind of a little unfortunate. He's still good. He's definitely still good, especially if you know how to play with him. But again, he's a skill dependent player. You have to know how to play with him well, which majority of players especially ones i fight against don't really know how to play with them i don't really know how to play with them the absolute craziest but he can definitely still put in work for sure and again you have to like keep in mind as well his his usability not usability his value he has insane value mainly as bench like i feel like that does kind of some you you, can, you have to somewhat factor that as well him being like probably one of the best bench units overall in the game you know him with that amazing double offense the ability for saiyans and super saiyans and him zankai buffing blue saiyans like he is very good and again the fact that he can still do pretty well like in like battle and all stuff he's definitely not the absolute craziest but he can definitely still hold his own and all stuff like i think that does kind of like help like his placement i guess but again he's definitely not like the crazy he's definitely aged at this point again somewhat and again it does depend on how well you play with him i'm not the craziest player namek goku player so he's gonna be at top of a tier i still think he's good but definitely not the absolute craziest and just all these characters are better simply that's as simple as that so yeah i guess that's it i'm s I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I... You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I've debated it long enough. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put him in the SS tier. The bottom of S tier. SS, of SS tier, of course. I can't talk. I just think... Again, the I've used Bardock more and more. And I feel like the more I use him, the more impressed I am by him. He feels just very good again even at lower stars for me he puts in work and i f again i fought against quite a few bardocks recently actually and he definitely in certain situations he is super annoying to fight against like he's definitely been the reason why i've lost a number of matches especially recently because of how annoying he can be and just how good he can be especially you know once an ally dies just in, in general how sustainable he can be and all that just like I just think he's just very good. Like definitely, the like the more time has gone, the more time has gone on. I've definitely come to respect him a lot more for sure. And I think he has, he's very good against mono purple and all that, especially since the fact that you know he has type advantage against purple units, of course. But even if you're fighting against Goku, Vegeta, and Vegeta swaps in, if you have a defeated ally, he goes type neutral. So well, in, in a defensive aspect, but still. He's not really gonna be taking that much damage even from Vegeta and all that. And even against other red units, if you happen to fight against red units, he's gonna be tanking pretty well at that point. His green card obviously being able to constantly heal him and all stuff, draw a card, give him key and all that. This is, I don't know, I, I just think he's that good personally. I, I, I don't know. The fact that also, again, he gets hit, he locks you in and then he gets level two card drops but he buffs up the next card he uses. He nullifies special cover changes in the main ability. like. I feel like he does so much. Again, you definitely know how, you definitely have to know how to use him properly. I'm definitely not the absolute craziest Bardock player of all time, but I feel like I definitely have a much better understanding of what he's capable of. And I feel like I, I, I just feel like he's this good. I feel like he actually is better than all these characters. I don't know. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that. This I guess let me just double check real quick throughout the tier list. But I think this might be the finalized version of the tier list right yeah yeah th this is it i guess so i guess here's the tier list th there's definitely a couple of places that maybe i'm not 100 percent sure on but again things will change obviously we're gonna be constantly changing it as we go on this is i guess just how i feel the current moment i guess i don't know <laughs> Uh, probably things are gonna change probably by next month the next time we do this So we'll see just how drastically the list might change at that point, but Yeah, so obviously I guess you can take a look at my previous tier list here again And then I guess you can kind of somewhat compare it to the current list and all stuff again Obviously I made a new tier for ultra gogeta specifically and then I removed C tier because I thought there was no point Anyways, so there's that uh, but yeah definitely been a lengthy uh, video i uh, definitely is gonna be longer than even the last two videos uh tier list videos i've done but 
hey it is what it is uh, hope you guys enjoyed again these are my this is my personal takes my opinions and all these characters and all stuff they are not factual all right my opinion is constantly changing and all stuff so there's that i don't know you don't have to agree with any of these placements all right there's that anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do make sure down below and also sub the channel notification bell to never miss out on upload and also follow my twitter link down below at its current three and that being said hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see y'all in the next one peace out have a great one y'all